making no bake peanut butter and jam fudge bombs. Um, so all we need to do is mix everything up in a bowl, scoop it out into um, individual molds, and then freeze it. Um, so let's get started. We're going to use one cup of smooth peanut butter. This is natural peanut butter. Um, and I would suggest using this and not chunky just because we want this fudge to be smooth. Um, and try and get natural, natural ones. You can either find it in bulk stores. Most grocery stores have them now too. Um, and make sure it's smooth. Um, so that's one cup of natural peanut butter. I'm going to use six tablespoons of unsalted butter and I softened it by microwaving it a bit. So I'm gonna put that in there. And next we're going to add a quarter cup of collagen powder. Um, so you can either get this usually in most grocery stores sell them in the pharmacy sections, Costco sells it. Um, even if you have the collagen pills, you can use those, um, crush them in a blender and you'll have it. Um, so there's that. We're going to use one teaspoon of vanilla and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So we're going to mix it all together and then we're going to put it in molds and then we're going to put a scoop of um, sugar-free jam on top of each, um, each bomb. So that collagen thickens up once it hits some liquid. So get in there, make sure you're mixing it really well. Make sure that butter gets mixed through there really well as well. Um, that's why I soften the butter. get it as smooth as possible. Make sure there's not many lumps in it. Again, try and break down that butter. why it's important for it to be softened because if it was too hard it might have been too hard to break down. So once we put in the molds we put the strawberry jam on it. It's just one hour in the freezer and that's it and they should be ready. It's a Fairly easy recipe, you just throw everything in one bowl, mix it together, pop some jam in it, and that's it. So I think I'm good to go with this. There's a bit of some butter chunks in there, but I'm okay with that. Nothing wrong with some butter. Um, so. I have a silicone mold. Um, it's about one inch size each cup. Um, so I'm gonna use a cookie scoop and scoop into each cup. And then I will be putting jam into each cup as well. So grabbing my cookie scoop. So I'm using one of these cookie scoops. Grabbing some of that and gently pouring in there. Just one, one scoop. Try 
try not to make a mess. And if you don't have a scoop, you can use a, a spoon. Just try not to um, overflow. Not that it's gonna rise up, it just might be easier to take out later. So I have 12 of them now and I'm just going to use the jam and I'm just going to plop in about a quarter teaspoon into each. Just plop it in there, it doesn't have to look fancy. You just want that jam flavor in here. Push it down a little bit so it stays. That's it. Now put it in the freezer for one hour and then you can enjoy it.